Never underestimate how valuable parental support is in terms of both school climate and students' success. When parents are positive about the school experience, their children are more enthusiastic about going to school and about doing well at school. Math instruction and math assessment has changed enormously over the past few decades in response to research, in response to the changing demographic that we have with the children in our classrooms. It's important for parents and for kids to know why they're using things like math manipulatives, why they are using technology, why they are using other kinds of resources in the classroom as part of their everyday math learning. When everyone is on the same page, there's less resistance. When everybody has that shared image of what a math lesson should look like and how people should behave during a math lesson, we have better advocacy for mathematics. People understand and support what's happening rather than question what's going on. That in turn helps parents to understand that we do have a balanced math curriculum. When we share that information, we have a more informed discussion. That's why we turn to social media. We know that teachers encourage students to take pictures of their work. They exchange their ideas on classroom bulletin boards, electronic classroom bulletin boards. They access high quality websites or YouTube stations, or they review artifacts, for example, using an interactive whiteboard note for notes, or computer graphics that have been uploaded from class activities. And when these are on shared repositories, Everybody has access to those, and that improves math talk at home. When children are working at home in the evening, doing their math homework, and communicating with the classmate who lives three blocks down the road or in the next town, what that's really happening is to establish relationships of trust between those students. And that kind of trust builds a classroom where learning is going to be much more effective because the students actually are connected in important ways. One of the most important skills that we have for the 21st century, and it has been articulated by many different groups, is that our young people are going to have to be able to work successfully in small groups. Social media helps students to have experience working together, sharing ideas and sharing resources. Families today have incredibly busy schedules. One of the things that we know is that social media allows the opportunity for students to learn anytime, anywhere. When they have access to classroom notes, when they have access to instructional video, when they have access to individual help from either a teacher, their own teacher, or another teacher, that is very helpful. Getting information out there. It helps them to communicate with an entire class and with their families. They now are actually communicating regularly and in a meaningful way. One of the things that we know is that, again, the classroom has changed. You're going to see all kinds of things that were never in our own classrooms. One of the things that social media does is allow parents to take virtual class trips into those classrooms and actually see what their children are doing, see their laughter, see their enjoyment, see their enthusiasm. And when that happens, we have a broader shared understanding of why math classrooms look this way and why it's important to make sure that that experience is positive for children. Mm -hmm.